SpaceX Starship program, which boasts the world's tallest and most powerful rocket, will eventually put people and cargo on Mars. The latest prototype, SN20, is waiting for the chance to go into orbit. Several other prototypes have made flights, ground tests, and sometimes even testing mistakes in the effort to improve future flights. Here's an overlook of the key milestones of Starship's road to the Red Planet. Before we get any deeper, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Let us know in the comments below if you think the world's most powerful rocket is powerful enough. SpaceX has been plenty busy on other realms of space. The company built Dragon cargo ships and Crew Dragon astronaut spaceships for the International Space Station and launched satellites for numerous customers aboard the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. As for Mars, Musk periodically releases new far-out Mars visions and sometimes changes the names and metrics of the systems for sending crews, cargo, and rockets. Musk rebranded his Mars colonizing spaceflight system as Starship in 2018. Technically, two parts, Starship is the spaceship slash upper stage and Super Heavy is the rocket booster needed to escape Earth's deep gravity. At first, Musk planned to make Starship out of carbon fiber, but in January 2019, he announced that the craft would be built from stainless steel instead. While stainless steel is heavier than carbon fiber, initially increasing the needed fuel for launch, along with the associated cost, Musk said stainless steel had better thermal properties for space flight, and so it would reduce the cost in the long run. Musk later said the design change was the best decision he made for this project. Starship has undergone a few more design changes since 2019. SpaceX chose to put six Raptor engines on the Starship vehicle instead of seven. They changed the number of Raptors on the Super Heavy, initially dropping the number from 35 to 31, and then increasing it again to include up to 37 Raptors. Not all engines will be needed on each flight, but at least 24 Raptors are required to carry this huge craft into space. Starhopper was a low altitude prototype of the Starship system that looked more like a flying tank than an aerodynamic rocket. SpaceX did two static fire tests of the system at its facility in Boca Chica, Texas to evaluate the performance of the engine in 2019, and then followed that up with four short test flights that same year. The Starship's first one foot or 30 centimeter tethered hop lasted three seconds. On the first free flight on July 25th, 2019, the prototype soared to an expected altitude of 20 meters. Its last flight before retiring on August 27, 2019 was expected to go as high as 150 meters, in line with a limit imposed by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. Starship's program tested several ground prototypes before attempting flight. The list of major prototypes in 2019 to 2020 included MK-1, destroyed during a tank pressure test, MK-2, abandoned for a newer design, MK-3 slash SN-1, destroyed during a pressurization test, SN-2, pressure tested successfully, SN-3, destroyed during a test of its pressure tank, and SN-4, destroyed during a static fire test following several successful tests. Starship's SN-5 and SN-6 prototypes conducted low-altitude test hops. SN-5 reached an altitude of about 150 meters or 500 feet on August 4th, 2020, and moved sideways in the sky to reach its landing area. SN-6 also made a 150 meters jaunt on September 3rd, 2020. SpaceX deliberately destroyed SN-7 during a ground test to gather data for future flights. SN-8, which took to the air on December 23, 2020, performed complex aerial maneuvers and flips during the program's first high-altitude launch. It flew to 7.8 miles or 12.5 kilometers, 
but failed to stick the landing. According to a video shot from the landing pad that showed exploding in a fireball on the ground due to lower than expected pressure in the fuel tank header, or as Elon Musk put it, a fast fire. In a quick sequence in February and March 2021, the Starship program sent aloft three more prototypes on high altitude flights, SN9, SN10, and SN11. The vehicles flew for about six minutes each, but all three experienced technical problems during landing that resulted in fiery crashes or after touchdown explosions. SpaceX Starship SN15 prototype stuck the landing on the 60th anniversary of the United States' first ever crewed spaceflight when astronaut Alan Shepard blasted into space aboard NASA's Mercury capsule. On May 5, 2021, SN15 soared 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers into the sky and made several maneuvers in midair. Six minutes after takeoff, the prototype made a safe touchdown on a concrete landing pad at Boca Chica. SpaceX's newest Starship prototype briefly stood atop a super heavy rocket booster for the first time on August 6, 2021, marking the tallest ever rocket ever built. The stacking test at Boca Chica included mating the two vehicles for an hour, with the joint Starship system standing 390 feet tall or 120 meters. For comparison, NASA's massive Saturn V moon rocket used for the Apollo missions was just 363 feet tall or 110 meters. Individually, the Super Heavy stands 230 feet or 70 meters tall. And Starship SN20 added another 165 feet or 50 meters of height. The two vehicles underwent numerous technical tests in August to prepare them for an orbital attempt. SpaceX will soon do an orbital flight with Starship. If it all goes according to plan, then the spaceship will make the round the world trip to splash down off the coast of Hawaii after 90 minutes. With the first stage of Super Heavy rocket should return to Earth six minutes after launch in the Gulf of Mexico. Next time on Discover Zen, we're going to go ahead and discuss why heat tiles are vital for Starship. Thanks again for watching our video. Until next time, friends.